Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Amar. I'm Owen Joyner. I'm Lexi D. Benedetto, and these are items I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely need to make my Halloween haunted. Absolutely haunted. First of all, the bag is very important because obviously we're going to fill it up with candy. Once you fill this bag up with candy, you need another one for more candy. Always more candy, better. Another bag. Another bag inside of your Halloween bag. A second trick-or-treating bag because, well, more candy. <laughs> it's a trick-or-treat bag. This is where I hold my candy. For the candy, for the candy. Who doesn't love candy? I love candy. It's fuzzy, it's soft, your candy's comfy in there. You have these bad boys. I call them glasses. Like anyone else would, but they're fun. Hey everyone, I'm Jojo. So nice to meet you. Oh boy, my eyes fell out of their sockets. Oh well, what are we gonna do about it? These things are great. You know, it'll spunk up and spice up your costume, whatever it is. I rip my eyes, I twist them and turn them. You meet some friends, you wanna make them laugh. You just put these things on and you have instant friends. Yeah, these glasses are fun. You got a wig. In case you know, you want to go back to the house where you got candy, you got good candy, and you, of course, want more. This really doesn't have anything to do with Halloween. This is more of a good luck charm for me. So I just kind of carry this around, and you know, it's usually my back pocket. I don't know why it was in my bag. Backup Halloween costumes, because sometimes you go out and you hit that house that has like the king size candy, right? It's the best house in the street. We all know this house. Got your mask. You got your hair, and boom, you can go trick-or-treating again. And you look cute. A dead zombie clown hand that says, ha, ha, ha. Because who doesn't love clowns? <laughs> I never leave the house without this thing. It's very, very important. I love it. Not to scare people, just to kind of have a friend when I go trick-or-treating. You can take this out and like scare with your friends and it'll be really fun. Rawr! You might want to like go up with like your arm like this and then you can be like, hi, nice to meet you, oh, my arm fell off! I find it really gross and it's squishy, which I just think is wrong. If you go to a house and the woman is giving you raisins, right? She gives you raisins, maybe she gives you a couple of nickels. You go back, you either terrify her with the dead clown arm, you throw the pumpkin at her house, or you toilet paper the trees. This is for a, this is a major just in case case. You know what I mean? But you know, you can launch it over someone's house with their permission. With their permission. It's a spare costume, you you know, you look at, like you could go like this and you could become a mummy. In case you wanna TP someone's house. Amazing, I do that all the time. Not really. Some traditionally use it to TP a friend's house or make a friend a mummy. I just need it because I need extra toilet paper sometimes. Mmm, spiders and bugs to for a prank to scare your friends along with this gigantic spider. Hmm, these are cute. Guys, gosh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look how cute they are. Ah! This is my friend. Wilson? No, not Wilson. That was on a movie. I got lots of bugs in my bag. You can never go wrong with a bunch of bugs. Bunch of bugs? Good prank. Ooh, beetles. I actually grew up in a state where we have flying cockroaches, so. Yay, friends. You can put them in people's food. You can prank people with them. I easily get pranked. I have been pranked with fake bugs before. It's not the funnest thing. But it's funny to see people be scared, so do it. So many bugs. This is my friend Gregory. He's really cool. I love him a lot. And he's squishy. A phone and a phone charger, so you can take selfies all night long. Of course, you gotta have the most epic Halloween playlist. Of course, you're listening to it, play it at parties, whatever you're bumping. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, it might not be good, because there's not really that many good Halloween songs, but. It's cool. And a phone charger, because you know she's gonna die. Because you gotta take lots of pictures. If you're wearing a wig like this, selfies are gonna be your best friend. And you need a charger, because with all that selfies, you're gonna run out of battery. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, and teeth. This fella 
right here. When I was little, I had these all the time because I wanted to be a vampire so bad. These bags make a very good costume. I can just pop these things and you could be a werewolf. Or a vampire, a very feisty witch. <laughs> and yeah, they're really hard to talk with though, so just kind of have to smile. Uh, 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 uh. That's where I keep in my Halloween bag. Tell us in the comments below what you carry around while you trick or treat. Happy Halloween! Safe trick or treating.